Hello everyone, just Gordon here and welcome back to another Planet Zoo real life inspiration video. Today we are looking at the adorable cheetah over here and this is already the first zoo because we are starting off with the Aachener Tier Park over here as it runs off. So over here we've got a pretty, what I'm gonna say, standard uh, cheetah habitat because we'll see a lot of this nice green fields, elevation differences and a simple fence going around. We do see uh, what we saw earlier was a, a bit of an African hut standing in there as a bit of shelter. And as we keep going around, we've got some interesting elevation differences. Um, but we can also clearly see some kind of backstage in the back. A uh, fence over here separating this uh, other part of the habitat. So we've got two separate yards. Looks like there's two cheetahs in here at the moment. Even further back, it goes all the way up to here where there's this thing, which I think is still inside of the habitat. Not sure what that is though. So next up, we have Safari Park Beekse Berge. And I'm only gonna show the new enclosure of uh, the currently revamped Elephant Valley because it's basically the same, except more modern and less grassy because everything has been dug up. And so the grass will grow back over the years. Uh, there's also plants being grown. I'm not sure if they will make it because well, the cheetah apparently really likes to scratch themselves with those plants. But yeah, we can see them lying around. We can see nice habitats. So that was the first of three yards uh, with a bit of an elevated viewing point. And the rest of these have these more on the ground viewing points where you get really nice and close views. The main change to this habitat is that they added like a bit of a hill in the back there so that you don't quite see the backstage holding as much and um, they did similar things over here adding all these elevation changes which i think is just something that the cheetahs really enjoy being able to take that elevated position if they want to and um, this habitat uh, a change that they made is well this viewing point uh, which also gives you kind of a view of the rhino field all the way in the back currently you don't really see any rhinos walking around there but you could which is really quite cool but yeah that's the habitat over here at the Bergen. Uh, one thing that you can see that the old habitats had was like some climbing protection around the trees. Um, you can see that over here in this uh, old view of this habitat. Um, that is because even though cheetahs can't really climb trees that well because they don't have retractable claws, um, when cheetahs are still juveniles, when they're still like have been recently born, um, their claws will still be very sharp and they'll be able to climb trees. So you'll see juvenile cheetahs will climb up trees quite often uh, which is why um, climbing protection is sometimes still needed anyway we've already been in Burgessu for quite a bit uh, this is quite a nice habitat especially when it's all lush like this looking very beautiful uh, other than that it's pretty simple it's just a fence around a field and then a, a simple viewing area over here with some cool education nonetheless but compared to other stuff in Burgess this area is a bit a bit bland um, but still quite nice nonetheless. Next up, we're in the zoo of Cologne, where once again, we have a nice grassy field over here with some trees strewn around, uh, simple fence, some glass viewing points, but also on this side, uh, much more interesting, um, kind of this open view, which is not even that far off the ground. There's some hot wire going around the bottom there uh, to make sure that she just don't get up here. But yeah, this was quite a surprising view, actually. You it, it seems the most risky of the, of the views here. So that was quite interesting. Next up, we have Dierenrijk. This is the new enclosure of the cheetahs, which is the old enclosure of the Asiatic black bears. Uh, the cheetahs have been moved out of their old enclosure to make space for a new tiger enclosure. Uh, and yeah, they've been moved here, which definitely is not a downgrade by any means. It's a very nice, large enclosure. Um, nice and grassy once again, a bit of a water side over here, giving you a more open view into it as well. Yeah, quite a big fan of them being here now. It's a quite nice place. And then over here, um, we have some views of their old enclosure. So across from the tiger uh, in this small tunnel thing, uh, you could see the cheetahs. And then on this side, there was a bit of a shelter where you also had a view of their Nice grassy field with a simple fence. Are you starting to notice a pattern here? Because I certainly am. Like this is just basic cheetah habitat. It's just grassy field with some features strewn about it. Some height variation, maybe. Um, and then a, a simple fence around it. <laughs> Over here in Krefeld, what's really cool is we can see right into the habitat. It almost looks like there wasn't a barrier. But this kind of thin wire 
uh, mesh barrier is all the way around the habitat. Uh, it's just in the shade there, you barely see it over here. Just some winter footage so you can see the habitat a little bit better. Yeah, this one's actually quite unique because it's much more lush and densely forested. Um, there's a lot of detail around. Quite an interesting shape as well. Really quite an interesting habitat there compared to a lot of the other ones. It's, not, it's a bit on the smaller side, I will say that, but yeah, nothing too bad right there. Over here in Mont Sauvage, uh, we've got a small look at this backstage building. Uh, which is also for the cheetah and then over here we come up to the cheetah enclosure where we can see once again the grassy field with a simple fence some hot wire uh, some of these little tower things which is something that they can climb into i guess to get, get a more elevated view here you can see the backstage a little better pretty interesting there's also a jeep in there nice bit of theming i guess and the cheetah walking around in the back really taken in their habitat they also have these little boxes which they were lying in I guess a nice place for them to hide a little bit. Um, cheetahs are a bit more on the shy side, so it makes sense that you would want to give something like that to them. That's pretty neat. But yeah, that's it for Mont Sauvage. Next up, we have the Aleta Zoo Münster, uh, where, yeah, do I need to repeat it <laughs> again? We got some grassy fields and a simple uh, wire mesh fence over here. But I will say, compared to some of the other stuff in Münster, which I, I wasn't a fan of everything in this zoo, but the cheetah enclosures are definitely very nice. They've got so much space. It was honestly surprising to me how much space there was here for the cheetah, especially if you compare it to something like the lions, which had a pretty small enclosure, if you ask me. Um, we might see that soon if I finally get around to doing the lions <laughs> video, because it will be a big one. But yeah, just a lovely habitat over here. Very open and grassy and cheetah-like, I suppose. Uh, it, it's really cool to see just with cheetahs not being, I guess, the biggest of escape artists because they're not very good climbers, um, is that, yeah, you can get away with a lot. I guess it's also just cheaper to make a large cheetah habitat compared to making a large lion habitat uh, because th this fence, this type of fence, is of course a lot cheaper to make, so... <laughs> It would make sense that it's easier for them to make a large cheetah habitat compared to a large lion habitat, I guess. Anyway, next up, Zoo Park Overloan. We've got this viewing point in the middle of the lushness of this area is this beautiful open cheetah habitat with a nice hill, some trees, and yeah, a couple of different viewing points as you go all the way around. From here, we can also see the viewing point we were at just now with the nice curve going around it. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this enclosure as well just it even though a lot of these cheetah habitats are pretty similar they are also very different and they're just a nice vibe i just like them i don't know um, over here we also come into this kind of covered up viewing point which is this nagoro research center or conservation center or something uh, where you get a really nice view of the enclosure but also this it's um, talking about the uh, conservation projects that the zoo's uh, charity organization supports, which is really quite cool. Cheetahs are also one of those. Uh, and yeah, just one last viewing point, and that's it for overloans. Next up, we have Paradise. I don't have a lot of footage of this enclosure. Um, th this, as far as I know, this is basically the main viewing point of it. And there's so much foliage around it that you can't really look into the enclosure from anywhere else. There is paths going around the sides of it, but it's just all covered with foliage so this is about as good of a view uh, as you're going to get of it uh, it's definitely a, a nice looking enclosure with no small port thanks to all of that foliage but yeah pakawi time uh, as always pakawi is not my favorite zoo far from it actually but uh, i will say this enclosure is definitely not bad at all we got quite a bit of space nice open field uh, elevation over here with even a, a bit of shelter in the elevation which i think the cheetahs will definitely appreciate definitely a bit of an odd backstage over there but you can also see a fence going around over here uh, creating another habitat over here which i think is just a separate holding area i don't think there's another species in here as far as i'm aware so that's really cool that's that's pretty great so yeah from down here uh, we can see some more things around this uh, weird <laughs> concrete 
mass of a structure. Uh, and then, yeah, we have some more underground views of this uh, second yard as well. But that's it for Pakawi Park. So let's move on already to, uh, no, not the final zoo just yet. I keep forgetting there's one coming after this one as well. But we have Zoo Plunkin now, which also have a nice grassy field with a simple fence around it. Uh, but with a lot of foliage. Uh, around the fence as well. It's all nice and overgrown with all this ivy. You get great views of the cheetahs as they walk around the perimeter with um, and even getting close to all of these different viewing points. And they also got a bit of a hill in a couple of spots where they can lie on top of and uh, enjoy their time. Um, we can see all of their little pacing trails going through the grass here. Uh, quite interesting there. Um, on this viewing point uh, also gives us a peek into uh, where they will go into their backstage, um, which is otherwise nicely hidden behind all of the foliage. But yeah, here you do get a view into that, uh, which for us is interesting to see, of course. Um, but yeah, other than that, some trees, some open areas, uh, and many of these kinds of viewing points, and some really great views of the cheetah I've had here during my few visits that I've been to Plancadel. In general, I would say I, I've either been really lucky in terms of seeing cheetahs active or, or they just are because uh, as I was gathering the footage for this video, I was surprised at how much awesome, awesome cheetah footage I did have. So just sharing some of the very adorable cheetah over here uh, and then also the Lego cheetah, very important to include. <laughs> and, and then it's time for us to move on to the last zoo of this video, which is the zoo of Wuppertal. Uh, I was here during the winter, so not the uh, greatest impression of it perhaps it's probably a bit more lush during the summer but yeah it's uh once again in that same category of just a simple fence and then some space um around that for them to wander around it also goes like all the way to the back here i think that might be a separate um part of the enclosure as well and you can see their backstage back there as well and from this kind of elevated hill but that's it those were all the cheetah habitats that I had for you today. So I hope you got some inspiration out of it. They were all pretty similar, but maybe that's a challenge for you to come up with a new, new cheetah enclosure design that's completely different from what you saw here today. Uh, but I'll leave that up to you. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.